Hey, welcome back. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Biz TV. I'm Don, John Tobacco. We are kicking it live today, and um, market not looking so great. Uh, Overstock still on fire, up fifteen dollars at seventy-five. Um, I think the stock's going to hundred, folks. And uh, I put my money where my mouth is. There's some options that uh, I just got into with, uh, with an eighty bucks, eighty dollar exercise. So we'll keep an eye on that. Dow down 182, a little recovery from the morning. Bitcoin just above 11,000 in a very precarious position, but I think it's going to bounce here. 11 may be the new support like 9 was for a little while. And um, somebody who knows uh, a heck of a lot about the uh, markets, because uh, I've been on Wall Street for 30 years. I've known this guy all that time. And um, he's also with me, uh, one of the larger or largest shareholders in uh, InvestView. And I will disclaim this by saying I'm the chief digital officer at InvestView. I'm also a shareholder. I am not soliciting you to buy any common stock in, uh, in uh, InvestView, but I would encourage you to take a look at it because it is a tremendous growth company that is seeing some significant growth in their uh, work from home business where people become distributors and sell the investor education products from home. With more people cooped up in their houses, they're focused in a little more, sales are growing, and uh, the company is just growing in all kinds of great ways. And uh, to talk about the markets, because Joe, if you remember back in October, talked to us about Datadog, and the stock has like tripled since then, uh, and talked to you a little bit about what's going on in investment. Joe Hagan's here, he's the CEO of Wealth Colony. Hey, Joey, how are you? I'm good, John. Thank you. Good call on Overstock.com, by the way. Yeah, thank you, pal. I think it's still rolling. If you ask me, it's catching Wayfair in leaps and bounds. And, you know, uh, Wayfair has never had a profitable quarter, ever. Um, and if you look at Overstock's earnings release, which came out this morning, um, they had a huge quarter, almost a billion dollars in gross sales. And, uh, you know, I think they did $1.9 billion last year. Um, so to do a billion in a quarter is like killer. That's killer. And I, you know, if you look at right. it and they're making money, if Wayfair is at like two and change, to me, Overstock's got to be worth a hundred. So, you know, I'm, I'm sticking with my Overstock call. I know you've been sticking with the, uh, data dog. You wouldn't even give me another symbol last week. Um, how's the dog <laughs> been doing? It's doing good. I mean, like I said, uh, look for a pullback when it was in the nineties and, uh, you had your opportunity last week at 85. It's up three today to 93. And I also think this could be a nice race, um, you know, with Overstock. I think uh, I think it's going to be another $50 billion plus company. Um, COVID, everything versatile in data, uh, everything in the cloud. They, Like I said, they added Amazon Web Services and the U.S. government as clients. So their numbers going forward when they're reported, I think, are going to be dynamite. Um, so that's solid up three to 93 today. Um, I think there's a lot of upside left over time, uh, literally in the next six months. And Bitcoin looks great too at 11,000. You know, I uh, really, the one thing that I, go ahead. I really like Bitcoin here. Um, and I, you know, I've been involved in Bitcoin since, you know, 14. Um, back in October, it got smacked around. It was 8,000. I actually bought some more at 8,000. Um, and it's tested those levels, but it was really building some support between nine and ten. It was like in that nine thousand range for a while. Yeah. And I was talking about, you know, if the Fed does certain things and they keep printing money with the with the uh, having cutting down the amount of supply, um, that I really thought this thing could get into the teens, uh, and it's dangerously close now to getting back into the teens. And there's a lot more people who are starting to look at it as an alt asset. I, I, I absolutely agree. In fact, talking about InvestU's program where we had the Apex model with my company, um, most right don't want to understand or hear Bitcoin, and that's fine. So we pay them their lease payments in cash. But a deeper discussion with some forward-thinking folk, uh, I said, look, you're making your 20%. It's protected um, you know, on your lease payments. If you, if you basically take those lease payments in Bitcoin, and sit on it, you can make another 50, 100% when Bitcoin breaks 20,000, or over time, I think it will. So some of those guys are making a lot more. Um, with this market, with this election, with everything you see on TV, I'm really happy, like you discussed before with InvestView, taking my 13% return, 
knowing that that interest is is, is paid for because it's all an escrow, so we're going to get that interest. If you you know you it's liquid if you need to sell, you're not entering into a big lease payment uh, program, and uh, by getting some additional equity thrown into the deal, you can make another fifty percent on top of it. You know, I think it's a no brainer. So I'm staying there for now with the investor, like you talked about, doing a preferred that's going to pay you thirteen percent return and getting some equity. I just think makes tremendous sense right here. So, Joe, yeah, break that down a little more because um, you and I, we had some tremendous success, um, especially even with our Liquid Lunch viewers here who participated in the Apex program before the company figured out that it was too good to be true. And um, now yeah. it's only for institutional type clients. But um, they did come out with a new, very new creative issuance, which is a preferred share. Um, and it's giving a pretty serious dividend. Tell us a little bit about that and what's happening. Yeah, so on June 30th, that program ended. Um, some new board members came in to invest you uh, that are looking to do great things for the company. And so obviously, um, you don't need to pay out that much to be competitive. And they recognize that. They can pay out a lot less and get institutions involved. So that ended. Um, but there's an opportunity because now that I put on my shareholder hat, that's, that's a good deal, right? Because they're going to do th all things that can drive the company's profitability, and eventually that flows into the price of the stock when they execute. So instead of taking risk on the, the on the stock, you can buy a perpetual preferred. Okay, It's going to stay preferred. It's not going to dilute the common, and it pays a 13% quarterly per year, but it pays it quarterly. So every three months by owning this stock, you can get more for your money than you would in a bank in a year plus, um, which is great. And they have the money sitting in escrow to pay the dividend. And if you have to sell it, you can sell it. It's liquid. It's a preferred stock at 25. It probably gets a little bit of appreciation, but most people own that for the interest of the dividend. Um, but by participating in the deal, I can show you how you're not going to pay a commission. You're not going to, I'll show you how to go directly and do it yourself, right? So the company pays you directly, shareholder directly. I'm doing this because I'm spreading the love in my ecosystem because I want to see as many people succeed at this as possible. If they hit their goals on the comment, and I think you and I both are in agreement that we think they will as far as execution. I mean, besides the 13 percent on the preferred, you can make, a, you know, another 50 percent, uh, you know, by just getting the, the, the quote unquote free common that are rated into the deal. You'll get warrants to own stock real cheap just by participating in the preferred, which is good enough on its own. So, Joe, let me just break that down so we could be a little more clear about it on the Apex program. That was a minimum of $15,000 investment, so it was limiting to some people. Um, mm -hmm. On this program, there's no limit. You, you could invest as little as $100. Um, you're going to get Correct. a common stock that's freely traded. You could sell it at any time. And if you hold it, you're going to get 13% annualized, and every three months you'll get a payment of one-fourth of that, right? Everything is correct except for the fact that you're getting common stock. You're getting preferred stock, which is a separate class. <laughs> Excuse me. It's not going to trade at a few cents a share. It's going to trade at $25 a share right. um, in VUP um, uh, on the NASDAQ where it's looking to go. But at the end of the day, it is liquid. You can sell it. And you'll get issued warrants, All right. which will allow you, allow you to buy common stock that are just thrown into the deal. All right. That's the gravy. That's the equity kicker, if you will. All right, Joey, we got to leave it there. Thank you. Congratulations to your daughters graduating Marist. My daughter is starting Marist. Enjoy the uh, family time, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank Take you, care. Joe.